the pain was so overwhelming. I never told anyone. I just pushed all of those emotions down until they spiraled a bit out of control. I attempted to take my own life. It is really hard to make that first call. I went through two hours of emotional turmoil just deciding whether or not to make that first call. Samaritans truly saved my life. Every year, suicide affects over four million survivors. Survivors are those who have lost a loved one to suicide. The pain that survivors endure has been well documented and is unimaginable. The night before it happened, she left a note on her fridge that said, going to watch the sunrise. And she left like a little drawing and everything. And then she didn't get up. I've had calls before where a person is really struggling, not necessarily suicidal, but a person is really struggling um, and they need, they need someone to hear them. And that's really what we're here for is to hear people and to empathize. And there are some people that you make a real connection with in doing that. And their gratitude is, 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 is really lovely. We just talk to them about their problems, about about the pain that they feel, about the support that they find in their life or don't find frequently. Try to love the other person and show it in a way that they can hear it best. and try to get that to resonate with them in a way that makes them feel like they're not alone, that they've got support to draw from. And no matter what, there's always another chance to turn it all around. Where people just share because they're talking the same language and they can open up and talk about uh, their thoughts and feelings. People who attend those sessions just repeatedly tell us it is in fact a safe place. I feel that because of the Samaritans, people are talking. Because of their outreach, people are aware. And that has the power to change lives and to save families from that pain from which there is no complete recovery. And if that's possible, then there's hope. It's inspiring to touch people's lives and hear that you've made a difference. Uh, it, it's a message I'd like to get out, that this really is a place of hope. So I feel like if we can help them see the sunrise tomorrow, maybe they'll want to see more sunrises after that as well. Hello Houston, can you hear me? Send a message if I'm really coming in. Because my ego is finally landing and I don't want to think about how long the flight has been. I tried to walk a country mile in someone else's shoes But I was always tripping and I found that it's no use So after all, I guess I'm gonna be myself